Sausage, one of the oldest processed meats ever created by mankind. The Germans were believed to have invented the first wiener in Frankfurt, Germany in 1487. The Austrians from Vienna say that they were the first wiener makers because Vienna apparently means wiener. With links going as far back as 9th century BC, it took almost 2,500 years until someone finally stuck a sausage in a bun. It wasn't until 1893 in Chicago, baseball sausage salesman Antoine Fuck de Wanger, tired of selling blistering hot sausages with sparkly white gloves, called up his baker brother-in-law to make edible sausage holders. This was a huge success. Then snooty ass Yale college students were all like, those sausages are made out of actual dogs, ho ho ho, the jungle by Upton Sinclair. Then the meme caught on, and instead of calling them sausage in a bun, we call them hot dogs. Oh hi, didn't see you walk in there. You know what I love more than the illusion of democracy in a capitalistic wasteland on top of a native burial ground? Fucking wieners. And in today's video tutorial, I'm going to teach you, the viewer at home, how to make the dankest hot dogs known, known to man, kind, people. So first you gotta set up your pan and put some cooking oil all up in it, like so. Now I'm going to make some fucking dank ass bacon wrapped hot dogs for y'all. Did you know, ironically enough, uh, wieners are sometimes known as Frank. And my name is Frank, and I like phallic objects, so I'm gonna wrap a bacon foreskin around this Frank and place it in the pan like so. So a, a Buddhist monk goes up to a hot dog vendor and he's like, Hey, I'm a vegan. Hey, did you know I'm a vegan? Hey, did, did you know that I don't eat meat? So now that our wieners are nice and brown, just the way I like it, put them on a little plate and put them to the side so we can do other things with this heated pan. So next what we're gonna do is using the bacon fat, dip our paint brushes into it and smear it on our hot dog buns because nothing says American ingenuity than a smeared fat on a bun. L look at that, beautiful. What do you call uh, a wiener w with nothing inside. That's right, uh, a, a, a hollow wiener. Next what we're gonna do is saute some onions on our pan and then put them on our wieners when they're done. I, I sure do love a good onion on my wiener. Insert Shrek clip for people. Next what we're gonna do is add some all-American style cheese. So you just need like a handful of cheese and you put it on your bun like so. Absolutely cheesy. Now we're gonna put it in this convection oven so we can toast up our buns in the cheese a little. Now since I love me my seasoning, we're gonna put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and to top it all off, a little bit of Hungarian paprika. That's a spicy onion. It low-key tastes like Lucas. So now that the onions are done, we turn them off and uh, we put them... Oh, and our buns are done too. Cool. Two, two things at one thing, which is always uh, a good thing. And now we get out our, our buns from their, uh, their thing. I can't, I can't. There we go. Now we get our buns out of the, we get our buns out of the thing, and they should look like this. Delicious. Have you ever had a hot dog with mayonnaise? It's, it's a question. Yeah, me neither. So we're just gonna put this away, because I ain't about that life. I mean, you could if you want to, I'm not judging you. Just So now what you do is you put your wiener on the cheesy bun, which is, which oddly enough is like the third time I've said that in my life. And now you put your your onions on, on one side, I guess, cause it's just easier that way. Also, did you know that if you put like onions and mustard, it creates like this whole new sensation or taste. 
So whenever you have onion, just put mustard on it and then something in the chemicals. I don't know what it is. Um, it, it just it, te it just tastes good. It's, it's very much... Oh shit, I got it all over me. There we go. Just like World War One. Hey, what do you guys call a Frank that's that's empty inside? <laughs> you call it me because I sold my soul for meme fame and cheap AdSense revenue. I only get ten bucks off these videos. You know that, right? And now we have our two beautiful juicy wieners. This reminds me a lot of college. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to click that like button. Tell me what you want to see next with cooking. Um, share. My, my mother lets me have two wieners. Nothing says American working class quite like hot Cheetos. And as a bonus, you can just grab a handful and sprinkle them on your hot dog and then take a bite out of it. Mmm. Oh, if you find one that looks like the Statue of Liberty, you can make 250K. Oh shit, is it in here? You know I love me a good, fuck. You know I love me a good uh, Farmer John's sausage. Uh, he's related to uh, Papa John's pizza. Um, and everything in this world is not a coincidence.